Howdy there folks, today we're going to compare the Athlon Argos spotting scope against the Athlon Kronos spotting scope. The Athlon Argos is Athlon Optics entry level uh, budget class spotting scope, where, whereas the Kronos is their flagship high end spotting scope. Let's start by taking a further look at the Athlon Kronos spotting scope. This is the Athlon uh, Kronos G2 UHD 20 to 60 by 86 millimeter objective, 45 degree angle spotting scope. It features a very nice eye cup that has very good tolerances. It's nice and tight, has three different detent settings, and then it has like a rubberized feel to it or coating so that if you accidentally bump your eye in it, it doesn't hopefully hurt you. Uh, very, very nice audible and tactile. Then it has what appears to be aluminum metal rings here that are have a hard anodized finish for rust and corrosion resistance. And then you come down to a knurled rubbered uh, magnification ring and it goes 20 to 60. It has numeric values every 10 uh, power. So this means that this can magnify your vision basically 60 times your normal vision. One thing that is a little bit interesting about this Athlon Kronos G2 UHD is that it has a second little rubber knurled like ring down here and that actually doesn't do anything. So it can be a little, at first, a little bit confusing. Some people want to grab there to adjust the magnification, but that is in fact not an adjustment at all. Then coming forward, you have like a, a textured rubber coating over a lot of the body of the scope here. That gives it some abrasion resistance as well as it makes it more grippy. A little bit narrower here in the main tube than the Athlon Argos. It has a very nice rubberized uh, focus wheel here, very smooth, very fluid. Then you have a little thumb adjustable screw here and you can loosen that up and adjust this any which way you want while it sits in your tripod. That's really nice so if you're glassing while seated you can just adjust it this way rather than being over the top and craning your neck. Really like that feature. Then coming forward you have the 86 millimeter objective so that gives it excellent light gathering capabilities and field of view. Has an adjustable built-in sunshade, which is really nice. So overall, great spotting scope. Comes in at 16.2 uh, by four inches in diameter. It's actually a little bit smaller than the Athlon Argos. And 73.5 inches, which is actually a little bit heavier. It's like 3.5 ounces heavier than the Athlon Argos. That's due to the premium components and, in my opinion, better quality glass. Has a field of view of 111 feet on the lowest magnification at 1,000 yards or 60 feet on the highest magnification at 1,000 yards. Um, the uh, eye relief is 0.78 to 0.7 inches. Oh, and it does come with a built-in Arca Swiss uh, a, a adapter right here, a plate. It's built right in. You don't have to use a separate plate to attach this to a tripod, which is very nice. It does also come with a carrying case with a hand strap, a shoulder strap. It's padded and you can leave this carrying case on it and just remove the end caps on it so that you can still use it, the spotting scope while it's on it to give it extra protection. The Athlon Argos, now we'll take a look at that real quick, also comes with basically almost the same case. Uh, maybe just not quite as high quality, but very close, and it operates the same way. Both come with nice rubberized uh, objective lens and eyepiece covers. Now let's take a look at the Athlon Argos. The Athlon Argos has a much sloppier, looser eye cup here, but it still does adjust um, and work adequately. Then coming forward, you have the magnification ring, which feels a little bit more gritty, um, but not much difference. Has numeric values every 10 power and a rubber uh, knurled ring to grab it. Does not have the secondary confusing ring now that the Kronos has on there. And then coming forward, you have a rubberized uh, coating over most of the body of the scope, similar to the uh, Kronos, but it has a little bit cheaper feel to it, not much. Focus ring, a little bit tighter on this, but um, in my opinion, a little bit more difficult to focus than the Kronos, but still very smooth, very adequate, and works great. Then it has a, the exact same design as far as like adjusting the angle, which is great. Um, and it comes with the same Arca Swiss plate built into it. So you can put it right on your tripod. Uh, Built-in adjustable sunshade. So overall, very similar in feature set. It's 70 ounces though, a tiny bit lighter, 16.9 inches by four inches. So actually a little bit bulkier. 
and it, it uh, has a 7, 0.77 to 0.70 eye relief and a field of view of 102 feet, 102 feet at 1,000 yards on the highest, lowest magnification, 48 feet on the highest. So a little bit less field of view out of the Argos. All right, so we went ahead and we tested these out in the field at the range, and um, there was a noticeable difference in glass quality. Both are made in China. Both were sent to me as samples from the company. Um, but throughout the day, and it's certainly in low light conditions, the Athlon Kronos has much better uh, light transmission, a little bit better edge-to-edge -edge clarity, much better um, sharpness of, in of image, and brighter color colors and less chromatic aberration. So definitely this uh, Athlon Kronos is probably among, in my opinion, the best in class uh, for what you get. B probably the best glass in class. Um, so really, really good value on that spotting scope. The Athlon Argos also probably among the best in class, um, but uh, obviously at a much lower uh, uh, point, it's not uh, is good at glass. You have uh, a noticeable less light transmission, a little like a darker image. You have a little bit more edge distortion. Uh, edge to edge clarity is not quite as good. A little bit more chromatic aberration out of it, um, but still great glass in its class. And for 99% of the hunters out there, birders out there, long range shooters out there, the Athlon Argos is is going to do basically the same job. It's it's not going to make a uh, a difference in uh, your end performance, so to speak. Uh, that said, if you if you're you know ranging targets past a thousand yards on a regular basis, uh, you will have uh, a better image and be able to probably call your shots, especially out to like a mile with the Chronos versus the Argos. Anyways, both scopes, absolutely fantastic in their class and in their own right. Hope you enjoyed this comparison of the Athlon Argos versus the Athlon Chronos.